Hey guys, it's Team Soulblaze blazing back in with another EDO Pro deck profile. So I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and donate to the Patreon. So let's get started. Today we have the best deck in the whole entire world that at some point Mandala slash Karibo begged me to build. So I built it out of pure impulse. Today is Karibos. That's right, baby. These guys are in every main protagonist deck, but never actually get used to their own potential. Well, guess what? There's an actual tech made of full Karibos that can actually fucking win somehow. So, let's get this started. First off, we got three winged Karibos, level 10. As the name suggests, it's level 10 with 300 attack and 200 defense. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned with the effect of transcendent rings. Wings. And during your opponent's battle phase, quick effect, you contribute this face of card, destroy as many attack position monsters your opponent controls as possible, and if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to the combined original attack of all those destroyed monsters. So pretty much a field nuke. That's all it does, which is really broken, really cool, and this card is basically a thing that one-shots everything in this deck. So this card's kind of like the ace card, so staple three copies. <laughs> three copies of Wing Karibo, level 9. So... Its attack and defense are unknown, as its name suggests, it is level 9. Activate only as chain link 3 or higher. Cook effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. Spell cards that have been activated are banished instead of being sent to the graveyard. And the attack and defense of this card are equal to the number of spells and traps in your opponent's graveyard times 500. And you can only control one of this thing on the field at the same time. So that's good, it gets stronger for each spell and trap in your opponent's graveyard. And it banishes spells and traps, and banishes yours too, but... Pretty much anything that's any spell trap that's activated goes away, which is amazing. And I mostly picked this card out of how it looks. By the way, if you want to know how this deck was built, here's what I did. First off, I got three separate cards that are not related to this deck at all. But after I got those three separate cards, I just typed in the word curry and then I immediately just clicked any, on any card I actually wanted slash needed. So, yeah. Next up, three copies of the card my friend actually wanted me to build the deck around. Then I technically did. Curry Babylon. If level 5, its attack is unknown, but its defense is 200. If this card is special summoned by the effect of a Curry Ba, its attack is equal to the combined attack or attack of the field on the field of the monsters banished by that by that effect, whichever is higher. If Curry Ba, Curry Be, Curry B, Curry Bo, and Curry Boo you own are currently banished, you banish this card and special summon those monsters. When this when this card's attack is negated, and Curry Ba, Curry Be, Curry B, Curry Bo, and Curry Boo, you currently control advantage. You can banish this card to special summon those monsters. So pretty much, in time of need, you can get those monsters back to pull up a defensive wall, or you can just banish it just to, you know, get more attacks if your opponent for some reason stops that, but you can still attack with them for not dying, even though everything in this deck except for like four cards has 300 attack. So... But really useful, this is the card that the deck was basically based around, so three copies. Three copies of Jack's Knight. Vanilla, 1900 attack, 1000 defense, level 5. This is only here because there's a spell that is needed to bring up Curry Ba, Curry B, Curry Boo, etc. For really cheap, well really easily. And this is the, and you require level 5 to use it, and this is the easiest level 5 to bring out in like in the whole entire game. Well I guess Vice Dragon counts too, but I prefer this thing, so... Huh, you know what, I just had a thought, but you know what, I'm gonna ignore that thought, because, yeah, I like this way better, because it at least gives you some power to work with, so three copies. <laughs> three copies of King's Knight. So, level four, when the 600 attack, 1400 defense, when this card is normal summon where you control Queen's Knight, you can special summon one Jack's Knight from your deck. So, pretty much summon this card after Queen's Knight, but that's still good. It has power, it has defense, and it can actually bring out a Jack's Knight, which makes it easier for you to use that spell that you need for um, Karibo summoning. But the thing is, though, what is most annoying about this play is that, to a technical extent, you could... Because this, the point of this deck is to have as many Karibos as you want and shoved into the deck as possible. Technically speaking, there is an easier level 5 to bring out. It's just that... You know, you kind of want some defense and some power in this deck, so I just chose the Knights. Also because this was mostly made to be Yugi's um, deck from the time that he went evil. So, three copies. <laughs> three copies of Queen's Knight. And 1500 attack, 1600 defense, level 4, vanilla, same as Jack's Knight. So pretty much King's Knight is the only one out of the trio that actually has a skill. 
Now on to the remaining Karibos. Three copies of the OG Karibo. If you don't know what this does, then you do not belong here, so get the fuck out. But anyways, it's level 1, 300 attack, 200 defense. That is the staple for literally every other Kariba in this deck. Uh, during your damage calculation, if this, if a monster, if your opponent's monster attacks, quick effect, you can discard this card and you take no battle damage. So pretty much prevents battle damage, which is really good. Keep them in your hand, nullify battle damage. Three copies of Wing Karibo. 300 attack, 200 defense. You do need this for Wing Karibo level 10, so be very careful of how you use this thing. Level 1 as well. If this card is just... If this card on the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard by any means, by battle, card effect, etc., for this turn, you take no battle damage. So, pretty much, this works on the hand, this works on the field. So, technically in the graveyard, so three copies. But this thing is important to the deck, so this actually does belong at three copies. <laughs> three copies of Curry B. Level 1, 300 attack, 200 defense. When a Curry Ba, Curry Be, Curry B, Curry Bow, or Curry Boo, you control is targeted for an attack, you can negate the attack. Cannot be tributes. Cannot be attributed for to be summoned. So pretty much, if this thing on the field is on the field, and anything, well, and if your opponent attacks into them, if they don't negate the abilities, yeah, they're not getting passed. That's the fun part about the curries. Until you can get out your curry Babylon, it's just annoying to try to kill them because you can't. So three copies. Three copies of curry bet. You can banish one curry ba, curry b, curry bow, curry boo in this card you control, and special summon one curry bandit from your hand or deck. Cannot be attributed for a tribute summon. Now you see, I was gonna add Curry Banda to this deck, except I couldn't find it. So, yeah, three copies of this thing though. So, now on to three copies of Curry Ba. Uh, 300 attack, 200 defense, level one. You can banish one Curry Be, Curry B, Curry Bow, Curry Boo, and this card you control. Special summon one Curry Babylon from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Cannot be attributed summon for a tribute. Cannot be attributed for a tribute summon. So that pretty much brings out Curry Babylon. Um. Yeah, I guess if you wanted to add Curry, if you wanted to add uh, what's it called Curry Bandit to this deck, you could get rid of one of the knights and then just replace the rest with Curries and then add a dragon, uh, some fairy searching dragon to the deck. But yeah, pretty much really good card. Three copies. Three copies of Curry Boo. You can discard one trap card, then target one face up monster your opponent controls. It loses 1500 attack to the end phase. Cannot be tributed for a tribute summon. So this is the weakener of the deck. One copy of Relink Curry Bow. Uh, if this card is tributes, if this card is tributed, draw a card. If if a monster would be destroyed by battle, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. So combo this thing with this thing and with this thing, and you pretty much get a free draw, and your opponent can't deal you battle damage, and your monster won't die. So good card, but one copy. One copy of Performer Power Curry Bowl Bowl, which I did not even know existed until I built this deck. Uh, when opponent's monster declares in a direct attack, he can special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, change the attack to the to target to this card and proceed to the damage calculation. If you would take battle damage from that battle, you gain life points instead. So that's really good. You pretty much gain life points instead of taking battle damage, and it keeps one of your monsters alive. So one copy, one copy of Clear Karibo. Uh, when your opponent activates a monster effect that would inflict damage. Quick effect. You can discard this card, negate the activation. When an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, you can banish this card from your graveyard, draw a card, and if that mon and if it was a monster, you can special summon it, then change the tar attack target to it. So that's really good. Pretty much, if if the if you take damage, you could just use this to, or if you were to be attacked, you could just discard this and then get monsters. So really good. So one copy, three copies of Alchemical Experiments. Send one Wing Karibo you control to the graveyard and banish three monsters in your graveyard. Special summon one Wing Karibo level 9 from your hand or deck. So pretty much the easier way to bring up this boy. So three copies. Three copies of the card that was also used to bring up Curry Babylon very easily. Five Star Twilight. This is the only reason why he is here. Uh, tribute one level 5 monster. Special summon from your... Special summon one Curry Boo, Curry Ba, Curry B, Curry Bet, and Curry Boo from your hand or deck. And, but they cannot be attributed for tribute summon, so pretty much all of them, except for this one, already has that effect. But, yep, pretty good card. Thing that brings out this thing easier, so three copies. Three copies of Berserker Crash. Banish from your hand, banish from your graveyard, then target one Wing Karibo you control. Banish one monster from your graveyard, then target a Wing Karibo you control. And that then that target's attack and defense becomes equal to the attack and defense of the monster that was banished until the end of the turn. Three copies pretty much strengthens up your Karibos, not by much, but still by a lot. 
The flute of summoning Karibo, quick play spell. Take one Karibo or Wing Karibo from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it. So pretty much either get a wall for a very certain spell that's right next to it, or you can just get a hand card. So either way, good card, three copies. Three copies of Transcendent Wings. Send quick play spell. Send one face up or face down Wing Karibo you control and two cards from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon one Wing Karibo level 10 from your hand or deck. So, pretty much, the card that brings out this, you do need this in the deck. So, here's what you do. If you don't, you have a Wing Karibo face down or face up, use Transcendent Wings, discard two hand cards, bring out this boy during your opponent's attack phase and just nuke everything on their field and then they die. Or, if you don't have a Wing Karibo in your hand but you still have one in deck, go Fluid of Summoning Karibo, get this boy out, use this thing, and then just do the loop over again. This does require you to have two hand cards though, so make sure you have two hand cards. Three copies of Multiply. Should be one face-up Karibo. Special summon as many Karibo tokens as possible in defense position. This card cannot, and they cannot be tributed for tribute summon. So pretty much the Karibo tokens are the same as Karibo. They are, they are just vanillas. But that's really helpful. They pretty much just get you a free wall. So it goes from one card to possibly five, which is the infinite wall of Karibos, as I've chosen to call it. So three copies. Three copies of Detonate. Also, it's a quick play spell, which means it can just be used to make an opponent's attack with. Detonate. Three copies. Destroy as many Karibo and Karibo tokens you control as possible. Then destroy cards in your opponent's field. You, uh, your opponent controls up to the number of cards destroyed by this effect. Okay, let me rephrase that. You play a Karibo, multiply it into five Karibos, then use this thing just to nuke five cards on the opponent's field. Perfect card. Three copies. Now let's do the extra deck. Three copies of Link Karibo. So one level one monster. This 90% of this deck is level ones. I'd be surprised if you could not summon this. When your opponent declares an attack, you can tribute this card, change the target, change the opponent's monster attack to zero until end of turn. If this card is in your in your graveyard, quick effect, you can tribute one level one monster. And once more, really easy to do. Special summon this card. You can only use this effect of Link Karibo once per turn. Pretty much another Karibo, but slightly better. Three copies. Three copies of Spear Karibo on the sideboard. When your opponent's monster declares an attack, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, change the attacking monster to defense position, and when you ritual summon, which is never going to happen in this deck, you can banish this card from your graveyard as one of the rit monsters required for the ritual summon instead. Two copies of Junk Karibo. When your opponent activates a card or effect that would inflict damage to you, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard if you do negate the activation and destroy that card. So, two copies. Two copies of Clear... Two copies of Link, two copies of Curry Bowl, two copies of Curry Born, aka Jesus Curry. Uh, at the end of the battle phase, you can discard this card, then target one monster in your graveyard that was destroyed by battle and sent there this turn. Special summon it, and when your opponent's monster declares an attack, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target any number of Karibo monsters in your graveyard, and special summon them. Pretty much, you can get all of this just by this being in the graveyard and you being direct attacked. Two copies. Two copies of Rainbow Karibo. Uh, you can only use each effect of Rainbow Karibo once per turn. When your opponent's monster declares an attack, you can target the attacking monster, equip this card from your hand, it cannot attack. And when your opponent's monster declares a direct attack while this card's in your graveyard, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. So pretty much extra wall. Well, that was the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is honestly the best deck in the whole entire world if you can't do i'm doing air quotes around best deck uh so i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment any other decks or fight you guys want to see and blaze up that subscribe button and i'll see you all in the next one don't forget to keep your souls blazing